New details in the arrest of a Linden man accused of federal crimes arising from the failed insurrection last year at the U.S. Capitol. 63-year-old Matthew Kroll is now among the more than 750 people across the country authorities have tracked down. He's accused of attacking an officer, an attack investigators say was caught on camera, as was so much of that historic day. And we're joined in the studio by TV5's Kendall Keys, who went through the evidence against Kroll. Kendall? Elise, this is the criminal complaint filed in United States District Court. It accuses Kroll of assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers using a dangerous weapon, among several other charges. But this one-page complaint comes with a statement of facts that's 20 pages long, and it details the volume of evidence that led to Kroll's arrest. This is the photo that prompted a tipster to identify Matthew Kroll. Until this point, Kroll was listed as FBI Most Wanted Capital Violence Subject Number 291. That tip led to agents poring over video evidence, going over it frame by frame, and freeze framing moments that investigators say show Kroll engaging in violent acts. Like these screenshots, the FBI say they show Kroll pushing through the crowd, throwing a water bottle at a police officer, attacking an officer, grabbing him, then his baton, and using the baton to strike other officers. Investigators cited this YouTube video in particular, saying it shows Kroll breaking through the line, grabbing an officer, spinning him around, and stealing his baton. The FBI says Kroll's identity can be confirmed by this video from 2016 during a water rally outside Flint City Hall. But yet the people here are suffering because of some bad, poor decisions that were made. Kroll is wearing camouflage as he is the self-professed executive officer of the Genesee County Volunteer Militia. The FBI says this volume of evidence, along with cell phone records that place Kroll at the U.S. Capitol on the day of the riot, was enough probable cause to take him into custody. And Kroll was arrested yesterday in Linden, and he made his initial appearance at the federal courthouse in Flint today. Live in studio, I'm Kendall Keys. Elise, back to you. All right, thank you, Kendall. And so far, just over 250 people have been charged with assaulting or imp impeding law enforcement from the events of that day.